Hi, I'm John Gehagen, author of Operation Storm, Japan's top secret submarines and its plan to change the course of World War II. I'm here today on Pier 45, Fisherman's Wharf in beautiful San Francisco, and I'm going to take you on a tour of a World War II combat submarine, just like the one I write about in my new nonfiction book, Operation Storm. Behind me is the USS Pampanito, which served in the Pacific Theater during World War II. The Pampanito is very similar to the Segundo, which I write about in my new book. In fact, they're both Baleo-class submarines built and commissioned at the Portsmouth Naval Yard only seven months apart. Though the Segundo came late in the war, she saw more than her fair share of action. In fact, over the course of five war patrols, she sank 15 merchant ships, at least two Japanese warships, and assisted in the sinking of several others. But her chief claim to fame was the hunt, chase, and interception of Japan's gigantic underwater aircraft carrier, the E-401. The E-401 was a giant submarine conceived by Admiral Yamamoto and purpose-built by Japan to launch a surprise aerial attack against New York City and Washington, D.C. as a follow-up to Pearl Harbor. Importantly, the E-400 subs carried three special attack planes called Sarin that were housed in a watertight deck hangar and launched off their bow. The E-400 subs were so big, they could travel one and a half times around the world without refueling. And they weren't even exceeded in size until the Ethan Allen class of nuclear submarines were commissioned in 1961. The Segundo's hunt, chase, and interception of the E-400's flagship sub resulted in a dramatic confrontation in the closing days of World War II. The encounter not only risked the resumption of combat hostilities just four days before the instrument of surrender was due to be signed, it betrayed our almost total ignorance about Japan's monster submarines and their mission to attack Allied forces. It also didn't help that the Segundo's crew felt dwarfed by the E-401, which was so large she was initially mistaken for a surface ship. Operation Storm tells the true but little-known story of the USS Segundo and her hunt, chase, and capture of the E-401, based on interviews with the surviving officers and crew of both subs. So join me as we tour a Baleo-class submarine and learn more about the USS Segundo, Japan's fantastic E-400 subs, and their top-secret plan to change the course of World War II.